Titus presents. And what the? Uh, Are they uh, team film? Why is he wearing a Asterix helmet? And he's got a pair of boxing gloves from from that kangaroo <laughs> from Looney Tunes. Uh, and he huh. has he has Tigger's tail. So um, originality much, I guess. Who's Nina? Uh, what is this, Davar? <laughs> I don't know! Okay, so we literally saw the name of this game, which is Andy Lightfoot. Ardy Lightfoot, actually. Ardy, Ardy, even better. Ardy Lightfoot. And we <laughs> started this game expecting something much more insane. Instead, what I'm seeing is uh, pretty normal. Yes, Almost it, it's... disappointing. Visconti? Who is Visconti? Luchino Visconti, neorealist director. I hope. Wait, are you, are you serious? Yeah, it's a real person. <laughs> hey! What is. RD Lightfoot, why would a acclaimed neorealist director from more than 70 years ago be featured in a SNES game <laughs> from 1994 titled R.D. Lightfoot. Okay, let's, let's just skip. Okay, I, I take it all back. This is weird. This is bizarre <laughs> immediately. Okay. Headshot Cam. Sound. Also, to be fair, the man was not really considered a neo-realist at the time, in the purest sense of the word, because he came from a noble family, aristocratic family, so his perception of the world was decisively different from those who, well, were on the streets, essentially. Wait. Because neo-realism was all about uh, uh, capturing the reality of the people in the post-war Italy. There we go. Prologue. Okay, so... Whereas Lucchino Visconti took uh, the uh, concept and made it into his own romantic, over-romanticized, some would say, vision of a Italian populace, if you will. When he veered away from neorealism, he made possibly his most acclaimed film, which was Il Gattopardo, hmm. which won, I believe, a, a film festival or two. I believe it won the Venice Film Festival, or was it Cannes? I would have to look that up. But anyway, it was quite important, and uh, it was a film that was very near to his art. And it's about uh, the uh, decadence of uh, uh, aristocracy in uh, the beginning of the 20th century. Right. I'm just... So, R.D. Lightfoot, right. <laughs> ah, dang. I... This has been... <laughs> How many minutes of me talking about uh, Lucchino Visconti? That's weird in itself, actually, isn't yeah, it? It's... Me talking about neorealism while we're playing R.D. Lightfoot is bizarre in its own way. Also, it was a pretty generalized overview on uh, the director, obviously. There is a lot more to say about that, and I have been the? very, very abridged about it. But then again, look what I'm watching right now. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what is a mole from Super Mario Brothers doing in here? Uh, uh, excuse me, are we fighting the mole man? I'm expecting uh, 
the Fantastic Four to intervene at any point. Uh, wait, Why? there's humans? <laughs> Hold on, what's going on? The old man read the writing on the slate. Long ago, great power created by Rainbow, many bad things happened, and the great power was lost. Then the power was divided into seven pieces. When these seven pieces meet again, any wish will come true. One returned to the earth, another sunk into the bottom of the dusk of cold water, another piece left forgotten in a desert town, and another one disappeared into the outer sea. <gasps> the old man could read no more. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> he probably was really the fast, too. Yes. The rest of the slate is covered in blood, and therefore illegible. Wait, no, this is not corpse party. We went so, from Shantae um, to this. Hold on, wait, is this seriously happening? Is this the beginning of every video game ever? The village is burning, is under attack, so Shantae, I mean Ardy, has to go and save them. We literally just recorded our and I was about to say our Ardy, our Shantae playthrough. I, I am just... Was surprised at this. So, what is this game? What are we doing? Why are we some sort of uh, dingo asterix fellow? I have no clue if I'm to what be. What kind of animal is that supposed to be? Is this taking place in the Sonic Boom universe? Uh, can I beat. Well, I, I, I don't know if I can jump on them, to be honest. Or am I supposed to attack is, uh... with the. Uh, like so, with. Peg, I think that's his. It's that. What the? Did it just end? I was wondering what was the purpose of that uh, beakless penguin. What uh, even is that? Are you Bob or Bob from Bubble Bobble? <laughs> well, that was a mouthful. <laughs> well, yes, when there's Bob and Bob from Bubble Bobble involved. Hey, Bob! Come on, Bob! Let's hey, go. come on, Bob! Hey, hey come on! Bob. Yeah, yeah, that's a good Bubble. Yeah. <laughs> I hope this isn't anything like Bubble Bubble, otherwise we'll be stuck here trying to learn the overcomplicated <laughs> lore of the Hardy Lightfoot universe. Speaking of which, you know what? That's what? exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> Are you kidding? I need to learn more about this enigma of a game. And apparently, Hardy Lightfoot has basically did a checkpoint thing. Oh gosh! Uh, no, no, I don't want your bombs. I I'm Quite fresh out of bombs. Hey, keep your bombs on you. Alright, so Hardy Lightfoot. Hardy Lightfoot, as it is said in Japanese, is a platform video game released on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1993. The game says 1994, though. I, I wonder if it's because um, it's like. There's different. Uh... Oh, it was released in the West in '94, so there you go. It was developed by Ashi and published by Titus in North America. Okay, here is the story and the gameplay. R.D. Lightfoot is an anthropomorphic creature resembling a cat, so not even its Wikipedia page knows what kind of animal it is. <laughs> That's great. He is accompanied by his best friend, a blue creature named Peck, who can be used as a weapon, or can take the role of various other helpful devices like a hot air balloon or rock wall destroyer. The ground or... is mine. I'm assuming something interesting is happening. Well, yeah, we followed the mole man into the pit for some reason. Alright. If Hardy is hit by an enemy, Peck will uh, disappear. Why can only am I be not retrieved. in the basket? Seriously, I'm not in the basket for some reason. I'm in it, but uh, on it? I don't know! It's, it's, it's a ghost basket! <laughs> this is a ghost basket! No. Oh my gosh, we are the ghost! Zoic's ghost! We are dead all along! <laughs> oh gosh! Hold on. Hold on, there's more. In oh, the story no. of the game, the sacred rainbow has shattered into seven crystal pieces, as you do, and it's up to Ardy to obtain them all. Whoever collects all seven crystal pieces will receive a wish. Oh my god. 
Sonic was already ripping off Dragon Ball, why does this random anthropomorphic cat creature... I mean, is this actually taking place in the same universe? I would hope Come not. To think of it. The evil king... Oh, Visconti. Visconti is the king? So, my gosh, Lucino Visconti, neorealist director, <laughs> is the villain of R.D. Lightfoot. I would have never guessed. What <laughs> 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 a twist, you guys. So the King Visconti has already gotten one crystal piece and he is searching for the other pieces. To this end, he sends out his followers including Beecroft, Catchery and many others. I don't know who these guys are. Hardy is assisted by friends along the way, like the unnamed Elder, Nina and a mysterious adventurer named Don Jacoby. Okay, I think this is it. It's... thank goodness it's not a complicated game. <laughs> yes, I mean, I mean, thank goodness Wait, it's... Why did he turn into a pancake for a moment there? Because he was ducking. <laughs> is that what happens when you duck? My gosh, do people know this? They need <sighs> to know! People need to know! Pancakes are people! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, thank goodness! This is uh, absolute insanity. This is just. <laughs> this is everything I hoped it would be. Really? This is like a normal, everyday, run of the mill platformer with some silliness here and there. I know, but uh, the level of hysteria I managed to get out of it just by the use of Visconti alone. <laughs> just by the name Visconti. I mean, I started this session talking about neorealism, of all things, just opposed to the farthest thing from neorealism ever. <laughs> and again, I mean, that's... that would be like talking about the history of animation while showing off footage of uh, uh, Soviet Russia propaganda films. <laughs> Not animated, mind you. Because there were animated ones. I cannot obviously. Push, I cannot push this at all. Eh, eh, eh. Wait, are we supposed to get into this thing? And uh, again! Yes, you are inside, but you're not. What the? You are like, uh, you're sure. You, you are a whole new what thing the? on sure. What the? Well. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Is is RD dead or alive? This is a whole new take on Schrodinger's cat. RD Lightfoot, dead or alive? Schrodinger's cat, Lucino Visconti, Neorealism. This is a very intellectually stimulating playthrough so far. Which is very unusual for us. So, I noticed you keep dying and. Now you're being sold at a carnival? Uh, Visconti's tail or something. Jail. Jail. Wait, I... is Visconti owning a freak show? Uh, well, it would make sense. No, I mean, Visconti didn't direct freaks. That was <laughs> Todd Browning. Ah! Duh. I should have What is the deal? What is the deal with this mine, uh, what's it called? Uh, cart. The, what's the deal with this mine cart? What the? <laughs> How? I don't understand why am I in places but not in places? This is some Battletoads levels of shenanigans. You know, I'm not gonna jump for the stars anymore because yeah, so I'm just gonna just do this without grabbing any. Rich for the stars. Rich or for not. the stars. <laughs> A star is born. Uh huh. Oh gosh. Oh no. Are you trying to push the wagon you're inside of? Somehow I am. <laughs> Even though you're not actually inside it? Wait, what wh is. Wh what? Wh what? 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 
What's going on here? What is this game? <laughs> Why is it doing this to me? Oh, is this a cat scene? I think it's a cut scene. Uh oh. So, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Tension. <laughs> oh, thank goodness we we thank goodness we were lucky. We went first. And. Uh, uh, what? You know, this is a uh, surprisingly complex cutscene for a SNES game. Oh, boss battle! Uh, and I, you I, die. Have, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, there we go. Oh, I, I had it, but then I don't. <laughs> Just get, come on, let's have this boss fight. Yeah, it's a good thing Visconti keeps forgetting of closing up the ceiling of that cage. I know, right? And oh gosh, we have to do all this oh, shenanigans no. again. Give me a break. Well, we've done 17 minutes of this so far, so... It's been already 17 minutes? Wow. Se yeah, 17 minutes. Talking about neorealism and propaganda. <laughs> I'm not sure you do know what neorealism entails, even though I've explained it. I wasn't even listening, to be honest, because I was too yes, busy concentrating on the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Basically, uh, the exact opposite of any of this. <laughs> right. Whee! Also, I just noticed that the physics of this minecart makes absolutely no sense because when the cart is on a descent, the wheels change position. Ah, uh, no, I did. I... Ah, dang it! I've, uh, I really mistimed that. So, uh, I should really be walking. So how do you damage it again? I'm trying to find that out, whether I have to... Well, first things first, I have to dodge this. And why am I not damaging him? Uh, you have to throw your body at him? That's your weapon, I guess? I think, or not, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what... what is... Okay, back to the Wikipedia page. Oh, I've got it. I've, I found it. I found what needs to be done. And what would that be? I have to keep a hold of the button as I jump after bouncing or something. Oh. I think. I, I wonder if I can just jump and then press hold the button. Okay, yeah. This drives me crazy. Look at those wheels. Carts don't work like that. Apparently these carts do. I'm just going to push this cart ahead of me. Yes, hmm. I pushed it ahead of me. I did that. So, uh, giving up yet? Nah, nah, this will be fine. Uh... Now, can we stop for a moment and uh, just uh, ponder on the idea of uh, Lucino Visconti being the main villain <laughs> of a video game? That's... I know that's not really the case, but imagine if it were, would be the most random choice as a final boss since Chopin <laughs> in that video game completely based around him, which was a JRPG of all things, you know, yeah, Eternal uh, Sonata. Yeah, I'm a son Eternal Sonata. That's that was so weird. Oh, right. Let's let's do this. And, and it was especially weird since Chopin was the final boss of that game. Actual, real-life Chopin, the composer. Right, <laughs> right, I've got it now. I know how to how to beat this guy. I found out your secrets. It took me like two hundred years to find it. Ooh, that was oh, close. that was close. That was really close. Yeah. Uh, oh, no! uh, wrong way. Game over. Oh wait. You have a small chance of victory. Yes, victory shall be mine! <laughs> eh? Okay, stay in the center and eh? go to the closest. Eh? And it's... Taking damage? Yes. Damage has been huh? done. 
Oh. Oh well. Wait, we lost, have we lost our we lost our little friend. But we can do this. He was a sacrifice necessary for the greater cause. <laughs> oh come on, I jumped over that. Well, the greater cause did not will believe not in us. Field. I think we can stop this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is it just me or does this game have infinite continues? It has infinite continues, apparently. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to uh, bury this game into obscurity once more. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, it just. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, this is so stupid! I mean, the other guy in the cart had no problem staying inside the cart. And now it's a cutscene and somehow our guy is actually inside the cart. <laughs> this makes no sense and I hate it. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> I, I find it very... Weirdly charming. And makes Look me curious. Look at those freaking wheels! Those freaking wheels! Ah. This is the wheel deal after all. Ah, shut up. Yeah. Yep. Right, let's yeah. we'll, we'll do, we'll, we're just gonna try this once more. Hopefully, we can actually beat yeah. this boss. Yeah. Yeah. Take that! Ooh. Oh. Right. Nice reflexes. Try it again. <laughs> How many hits does it take? You'd think after three, you would yeah, die. You, yeah, you'd think so, because that's typically what you find in these sort of games. Oh, he's he's doing a he Mickey's has, Magical Quest sort of deal. He does faces, I see. Uh. Oh, we won! Oh, we did. I mean, you did. I mean, nobody really did, but you did. We did! When Hardy Lightfoot wins, nobody wins. And stop praying! Oh. You're not supposed to be doing that on a Super Nintendo game. And wait, is that Neck the Weasel? Was wait, that was what? that Neck the Weasel? Sonic Universe confirmed. <laughs> oh my gosh! Really? How many games is this game borrowing from? Wait, we have an old woman. Okay. Okay, so three bears uh, were beaten the crap out of by S S Fox from Star Fox? Uh, uh, I'm confused. <laughs> uh, teacher, uh, there's something also, wrong with this exam. <laughs> was that the tree from Kirby? I'm done. <laughs> I, I think we're all done tonight. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> Adi Lightfoot Visconti. <laughs> this is Neo Realism. Uh, Schrodinger's cat. Star Fox sneaking jewels. <laughs> Lucino Visconti. <laughs> Moles from Super Mario one. Brothers. <laughs> it is a veritable uh, putpourri of uh, elements, isn't it? <laughs> If elements mean uh, borrowed for temporary use, then yes. This is very confusing. Uh, uh, I'm glad I chose it. <laughs> uh, I mean, based on the title alone, what could you possibly expect? I have no idea. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just over-exaggerating how nuts this is to us, but I don't know. Something about it just seems to bring out, you know, wait, what's this and what's that? Why is this in here from another place? Yes, well, <laughs> I think we were all pretty much in that sort of mood after discovering that the, the main villain is neo realist director <laughs> Lucino Visconti. <laughs> I had to keep reiterating that. 
Yes, we must reiterate every My aspect. gosh, you know, designing a thumbnail for this game is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, <laughs> so for now, I think we just get put ourselves to bed. This game goes to bed. It's, it's, it's... Yes, you're all going to bed. Go to sleep, damn it, says Morgana from Persona 5. Yes, and Chopin basically goes like, and Adi, give back Mario's overalls. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chopin. Oh, Eternal Sonata. Oh, the headaches. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Adi's wearing the overalls of Mario, but ah, in Luigi's so... size. The overalls of Mario, Asterix Helmet, he's an anthropomorphic animal, like Sonic. You'd think they tried to make a new popular mascot in the 90s, yeah. like many other before and after him, but it didn't work for obvious reasons. <laughs> yes. Also, the boxing gloves of the kangaroo from the Looney Tunes and Tigger's tail from Winnie what the Pooh. Freaking mess when the Wikipedia page cannot tell what kind of animal this animal mascot is supposed to be. You know it's bad. <laughs> well, you know it's confusing, mess. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway. Well, okay then, so. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Take care. I'm done. I'm just gonna just go over here. Incontriamoci di nuovo la prossima volta. Arrivederci a tutti voi. Good night.